The government will assess the effectiveness of the Standard Operating Procedures or SOPs in schools over the weekend. To know whether when all the students can come back to school, it depends on the situation. That's why some people ask, why we open on Wednesday? Why not on Monday? Uh, why we open on Wednesday so that we have that three days? Three days uh, from today and tomorrow and day after tomorrow. And then East Coast, there's only two days. So we have Saturday and Sunday as a break, to teach school. Uh, so during that days, we can uh, reassess back uh, the SOP, whether we need to add in more SOP, whether is it okay or not okay, or whether if there's anything that, can, that could happen, then we, we can... Uh, what I, what I mean to say is that it is a dynamic process. It's a dynamic process. Dr. Noor Asmi said that after visiting SMK Putrajaya Precinct 11 during recess time on Wednesday. Secondary schools across the country have reopened for students sitting for public examinations this year after almost three months of closure due to COVID-19. Dr. Noor Asmi said if COVID-19 cases are detected in schools, the ministry may decide to temporarily close the affected school. He added that screenings will be done for those who came in close contact with the people affected, whether in school or at home. We hope no case. But if there's case, we might end up in PKP uh, enhancement, EMCO. Uh, we might, you know, diperketatkan, PKPD. Uh, it might go to, to that level. He also said the Health Ministry, Education Ministry and Police officers will visit schools to monitor and conduct spot checks to see if SOPs are being followed. At the moment, the Deputy Health Minister said it is still uncertain when schools will be open for other students. On level of compliance with the SOPs at SMK Putrajaya Precinct 11, Dr. Noor Asmi said he was satisfied with the measures taken by the school.